ladies and gentlemen, welcome to another episode of StarCrafting. I just finished casting a uh, user-submitted replay, Silver League. Uh, you guys, not everybody wants to watch that, but everybody... Um, I think it's just fun for viewers to have their, their own games cast. It's, it's cool to see it on YouTube. It's cool to see that lots of people get to watch it. So I do that for the viewers. Uh, but now, because I viewed one of yours, you guys have to view one of mine. So SSN Funky Wise here for you, ladies and gentlemen. Funky spawning as the red Terran up in the top right. I'm kind of flying through the start because I'm, I'm going to do that now. Nothing much happens in the beginning of a game. Funky gets his early gas and he opens two racks, okay? Uh, sorry, Rax Factory. Sometimes two racks, but normally Rax Factory. He gets a uh, reactor because he pumps Marines with his gas-heavy units. Um, and a bit of a pain in the ass because Pandu did steal his gas. Over here we see Pandu getting one gate, um, kind of standard opening, but he gets a second gas a little early, so you know he's not getting a four gate. Um, that's a, a telltale sign right there if you guys have trouble telling what Protoss are doing. A gas this early means it's not going to be four gate. So there's Funky's second racks, like I normally see. Getting the tech lab on that so he can quickly swap it to his factory. And uh, one thing I want to say about Funky, guys, he does not play Bioball ever, okay? He never gets that Marine Marauder medevac, and <laughs> I love him for it. And the second thing I love about Funky is he is a freaking troll. He wants to kill you in the funniest way possible, and he never, ever, ever plays straight up. But at the same time, he never, ever cheeses either. So, guys, you are going to love this game, I promise. It is not your standard game. It is a uh, high diamond match. Funky is not quite Master League, but he's a solid player, and he's so funny to watch. So this player is going to go for a three-gate expand, um, Pandu, that is. He's going to drop his pylon, and what he's going to try to do is stop Funky from leaving his base. That is what you need to do as a Protoss, is stop the Terran from expanding, stop them from leaving their base while you take your base. So Funky can't really do much about this. He can't push down on it. He's ready to be harassed, and he uh, is ready to repair his wall in case the Protoss starts to push up. There's a Banshee for Funky. I'm going to slow the game down now. He's going to start hacking away at the mineral line, which is great because this forces Pandu to pull back and really kind of ruins his plan of locking Funky in his base, especially since Funky has his command center. He's loading it up, and he's not even going to take the natural that his opponent thought he would. He's going to fly this command center down here, and he's going to continue to build his army up and his, his Terran mech up while he uh, works on getting this over here. So he's never sitting still and never playing the way his opponent expects him, expects him to play. So this Banshee has 10 probe kills, okay, and still manages to get it away as the, te as the Protoss army comes back to engage it. Now Pandu still will get his expansion up, but he lost a lot of harvesters. It's going to cost him some money to replace those. And uh, he's a little flustered not using the chrono on his nexus. He could be chronoing out these probes. He has his robotics bay, and he's produced some observers. Um, there's one sitting right here in Funky's base. So he knows everything that's going on, um, but it doesn't really matter at this point because he has no idea that this is here. And this is the important thing. So Funky finally landing this, unloading, and getting those SCVs to work, um, and turning this into an orbital right away. So strong play by Funky right away, and he's double expanding. He's already working on his third at the 10 minute mark, okay? And he's well defended. Two siege tanks here. Um, he knows his opponent expanded and is behind in harvesters, so he will not be able to do any kind of massive push. Funky is exactly safe to do this. And uh, the Protoss player down here, trying to work on a little bit of a three-gate army. He's got his Robo Bay starting to produce immortals. And uh, Funky getting his Hellions, um, producing another tech lab, and just kind of working on that third expansion. So nothing too exciting yet. But I promise you, Funky never keeps it dull for long, because here comes those Hellions. They have no Infernal Igniter, pre-igniter, and three Banshees, splitting this up to make it a nasty little two-prong attack. Now, big army here for Pandu, but Funky squeaks down to the right side, gets a couple shots off, one-shotting probes if all four get those attacks. Some okay force fields, but not getting all of them, just getting one Hellion, sneaking past the Zealots, zealots and getting into the Pandu's base, getting some more probes in here, and <laughs> this is hilarious. Focus firing so that he doesn't start shooting at the Stalkers, which is good, and not too many probe kills, but his army is flustered, and Funky's just going to take map control with these Banshees. 
gonna see this pylon and gonna get a snipe on it. So uh, that's gonna effectively supply block the Protoss player and things are just not going well for Pandu. He cannot play the way he wanted to. I think he really wanted to be aggressive but Funky's pokes and prods are keeping him on the defensive. Now there is a pylon here and here for Pandu and uh, Funky I don't think knows it yet. We're gonna go to Funky's vision. No, he has no idea. So uh, um, I like this this wall for Pandu. That's interesting. Um, keeping units from just running through. At the same time though, those are gonna be really easy to pick off with Banshees. Funky not really saturating this, but all he really needed was the gas for this build. He's got more than enough minerals to pay for all the mech he wants. It's gas that's important. Now Funky really saturating this, dropping his mules, getting the gas on that too right away, and Pandu knows that he's taking this, but he thinks it's his first expansion. So Funky now finding this pylon, going to effectively supply block his opponent again. Oh, not quite. He's got five supply to spare. And I want to see Funky check for this pylon, but I don't think he will. Making this a PF, which I love. And here is Funky's trademark, is he's really going to start to work on his air now. We just saw him research the um, the, the bombs. Frick, what are those called? The, the Seeker Missile, that is. Hunter Seeker Missile for the Ravens. That's what he's getting. And he also got the upgrade to get the energy boost for the Ravens. Uh, Funky just supply blocked himself. Uh, <laughs> oh, Funky. But he's already got two Ravens out. He's got a uh, handful of Marines and Banshees. And PDD makes it so hard for Protoss to deal with Banshees. And because really their only anti-air is Stalkers or Phoenix. And I think PDD stops both of them. I know it stops the Stalkers. I'm not sure about the Phoenix. But I'm pretty sure it stops the Phoenix. So at this point... Um, uh, Pandu is stocking up on the observers, which is a good choice because Funky does have ravens and he will be able to snipe observers and then Banshees will be able to rain free on his army. But I'm not sure if he even knows Funky has ravens. I think he just assumes that they'll come. So a good preemptive thinking by Pandu. Um, he is dropping some more gates. like he, They're already done. So keeping on top of his uh, production facilities and that's good. Dropping a forge for upgrades, probably cannons for detection as well. He needs to be able to push out but he can't for fear of banshees. So there probably will be some cannons dropped behind the mineral line so that he can move out. He is playing a very white wrist style, staying in his base, placing stalkers around so that he can defend against those banshees and uh, just being sturdy, being safe. So he is pushing out now, bringing all his observers with him Funky now getting this saturated on the minerals too. His income must be incredible. I'm going to check out his income. He's well ahead of the Protoss player in gas and resources, minerals meaning. So I'm going to go look at the production again for you guys. And uh, this is uh, going to be a cool engagement. Funky not paying attention with his army. That was not an A attack. It was just a move command. He catches it and drops some PDDs as fast as he can. But this is not... Oh my god! Hunter Secret Missile going down on the Protoss army. Taking away the shield and a lot of health on those stalkers. This was a terrible engagement for Funky. Because he was not paying attention to his army as he moved across the map. And he lost a lot. He did manage to save most of his ravens. And that is the important part. Because... <laughs> well, you will see. Funky is hilarious. So he's got his siege tank up in the defensive position. He's got this PF and gonna drop some uh, gun turrets, but I don't think it's gonna be worth it. Uh, so we're gonna see Pandu snipe this gas. He's gonna pick off the missile turrets as well. And the PF starts to take pot shots. Going to get an immortal and gonna repair this PF. Pandu cannot engage that. A little extra firepower from that auto turret as they get close. Right away, he's going to rebuild this refinery. He needs that gas. And <laughs> look at this mass of ravens. Oh my god, this is so funny. So Stalkers, once again, Funky not paying attention, really. Dropping those PDDs, and he's going to spit out a bunch of auto turrets. And the Stalkers do have... Oh, they know they have blank. They just walked away. Okay. So keeping those alive, that's good. That could have been bad. I think Funky was going to go harass, but now he realizes he needs to keep those ravens in his base. He's going to lose his refinery again. And, uh, yeah. Pandu now pushing in. The PF is able to fire at the army, though, 
and Pandu was A attacking to try to kill the mineral line, but his units are just shooting at the PF. The Marines a little ahead of themselves, dropping PDD to stop most of the fire from the Stalkers, but a lot of it gets through, exhausting the PDD's mana really quickly. That missile turret is going to go down. The PF taking more pot shots, killing more Stalkers. Going to get another one. This PF now has five kills, and they were none of them cheap units. All Stalkers and Immortal. So that has two Immortal kills on it now, showing the Immortal that it is far from Immortal. And uh, the Ravens, <laughs> they're going to be dropping more PDD, I'm sure. And he cannot take down this PF. And now PDD is above the PF, making it even more difficult. This is funny to me. I'm not even a Terran player. I'm a Protoss player, and this is funny to me. I mean, if Pandu smartened up and got some high Templar, he could feed back not only the Ravens, but the point defense drones as well, and he'd be in more than good enough shape. He could storm these workers repairing the PF. This would be no problem with a couple high Templar. Funky now going to take another expansion. <laughs> I would laugh if he takes his opponent's gold expo. But Funky going to just PDD this PF and not let his opponent in. And what are we going to see here? Hunter Seeker Missiles on the army! Oh my god! He's got so many Stalker kills just from Hunter Seeker Missiles. PDDs stopping the Stalkers from doing any damage here. Marines picking at those Stalkers, dropping more auto turrets, killing the Stalkers. That Protoss cannot get past this PF. And it is so funny why. Oh my god, I love you, Funky. And uh, Siege Tank's just kind of chilling just for the extra bit of DPS. And this base still going undetected by Pandu. And what do we have here? Funky landing here, turning this into a PF with missile turrets. And he is going to effectively harass Pandu's base with his command center. Now, Pandu is going to warp in some stalkers here and uh, try to kill this PF before it gets up. And is that going to work? Funky comes in with his Marines to seal the deal. Going to focus down these Stalkers. The Stalkers are going to try to kill the Marines, but all they are doing is stalling for the PF. And that SCV is going to repair the PF as it finishes building. The Marines take down the Stalkers with their massive DPS. And here comes a huge warp in of Zealots. That is an impressive warp in. And the Ravens show up to finish this off with some auto turrets. The, st the Zealots don't know what to swing at, and they're certainly not choosing the PF. That single SCV is going to repair this PF as it slaughters the Stalkers and the Zealots. That PF has seven kills already, more than paid for itself. The auto turrets all just slaughtering. <laughs> I'm going to take a look at these Ravens. They are veteran. Seven kills, four kills, three kills, two kills, one kill, four kills, three, seven, zero, two, zero, one, eight. Zero. Colossus coming in here. Sorry if I missed too much, but I was excited. Taking down one Banshee. The Colossus will be able to take this down. These PDDs are out of mana. And uh, another Hunter Seeker missile landing on the Colossus, damaging that Stalker. Banshee's coming in here to take out the Stalkers. And more PDD going down. The PF does go down to the Colossus, but the Stalkers are not able to take this massive ball of Ravens and Banshees. Too many PDDs. They're just going down. And uh, Marines getting roasted by the Colossus, which, you know, that, that's to be expected. And uh, the Banshee's just going to move forward and continue to harass, maybe be able to get some free Colossus here. However, they're in range of the cannons. Funky needs to move those or he will lose them. And there he goes, he moves them here. But now he's in range of Stalkers and cannons, and those Banshees are not where they want to be. I don't think Funky's paying attention to this. He's over on the right side. He's going to lose those if he doesn't pull them, but there he goes. He pulls them out. So very good, Funky. And now he's chilling over here with his Ravens. He's going to just finish this off with auto turrets, effectively denying the Protoss' third. And <laughs> Funky just able to, s you know, mine away. Hi-ho, hi-ho, it's off to work we go. And Pandu's just going to GG there. And what an awesome game. I freaking loved that. Thank you, SSN Funky, for sending me this replay, guys. Keep following the SSN clan, because we're all a bunch of characters. GG.